Hey guys, first time in this video, I'm going to do a quick little review of the Mac Air ROM for the Nexus 5. So, okay. So, first of all, let's go to the settings. Then, about phone. And, as you can see, it is the Mac Air ROM 4.4.2 KitKat. And it has its own kernel as you can see on Bluetooth desktop uh, its own kernel it's not using the stock one that the other ROMs are using so so in terms of the performance of this ROM it's very, very smooth it's just because of that kernel and that Snapdragon 8 in a power uh, process, Snapdragon 8 in a processor in this device so yes this uh, ROM does come with its uh, pre-features pre-exclusive features so the first first features that you will see in, in this ROM is the notification bar so the notification bar is very good in this ROM we have a lot of lot of options and also you can have quick little animation when you you know swipe at a particular uh, quick setting for example uh, this is here the battery I'll just show you this is showing the 60% battery here and if I swipe to the to the left here and now it will going to show me the the temperature of my battery and also the million parts down there uh, that's not the million parts actually I'm, I'm not sure about that what is showing at the bottom but uh, at the top it will going to show you your uh, battery battery temperature and just like that, here it will going to show you. Go to sleep. You click here, and the device will, the device display will be turned off. And also, uh, you can just uh, set the time of timeout of the screen, like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, two minutes, whatever you want. And also in the sound, uh, we have this volume here. We're clicking here, it's going to show you this. And if you want to change profiles, you don't need to go to settings, you can just change it by here. Sound, sound off, vibration on, stuff like that. And same, you can tether from here. So this is basically a full settings with uh, quick animations and you know, you don't go, you don't have to go to settings and you know, do like we do all the stuff. And uh, also we have torch and uh, you can edit these uh, all of these uh, quick settings by touch and hold and move it to here and this way you can um, edit all of them so this is one of my best features uh, one of the best features of this ROM that I like and let's go to the settings and one more thing is that the immersive mode I like the immersive mode and uh, if you are a gamer, you'll also like this because turning it on, it will gonna uh, hide those on-screen buttons, which may be a annoying thing when you're playing games like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So, as you can see, I, I'm getting my complete screen here, no, uh, no touch buttons. So, and of course, if you want to go back, you can swipe up and then go back, and it will uh, gonna automatically hide those buttons. So can also turn it off from the t from the quick settings so let's check out the other settings we get a lot of options like dark omni you can turn off the display as you can see it's now more grayish and we turn on it is more black so in bars we have notification counts speed indicator breathing sms and different kind of stuff you can uh, long press to back if you can if you if you press this uh, back key long long press then it will gonna kill all the background apps um, you can check out a lot of stuff in bar in bars also we do have the menu this is the menu key that you get here okay this is the menu so like say if I if I turn on if I take here the mobile data it will gonna show me the power menu with the mobile data okay and also one more thing that I like about this ROM is that we do get the option of screen recording. You can also record a screen in power menu if you want. Clicking here, we're gonna start recording the screen, and we're gonna save you save the save this uh, recording in your gallery, and which is a very great feature. 
also we do get the active display uh, if you want to turn on the pocket mode and sunlight mode if you use your phone a lot in sunlight you can check out this option you're really going to invert the colors and uh, in areas where there are well, where there's a lot of high bright light and you, you get difficulties seeing your display you can check out this option also we do get have the pocket mode so in the display you have all the same options but here in this room uh, you don't have that same much options okay you you can check out you can change the font size you can change the notification light which is very very good um, if you because uh, if you you know start charging your device uh, it will gonna show you a white light here but you can change every color you want I I, I have the I have uh, blue color as my charging light so uh, you can change pretty much any color you want here and also we have screen off animation uh, you can check out the scale down electron beam and fade out for example As you can see it is scale down option at the moment so uh, let's say I want to do it to electron beam so as you can see okay let's turn it off again so this is so here you can change off the animation sadly we have only three animations but it's good to change it like this uh, this is the option that we don't get uh, in other ROMs so and also we have performance performance is basically uh, different from other ROMs here we are going to show you which core is running online which is running offline okay now at the moment I'm not doing any kind of you know heavy stuff so uh, the other three cores are off and we have the first core at uh, 1.4 gigahertz and here you can um, down clock your device and also you can overclock the minimum speed if you want you can change the governor to conservative um, on demand power save performance whatever you want to like you can also change the i uh, the input output scheduler and you can also uh, if you want to apply these settings on boot you can turn off uh, turn on this option which is very, very great uh, and also uh, this is you know this is not overclocking basically this is to just downclock your uh, your processor in order to conserve the battery and also the performance wise is very great camera is working great and also video recording is also working great you can take still photos gallery is working no problems and also uh, Wi-Fi is working great browser is working great I've been using a lot and it's been like a week I have installed this uh, this ROM and it is very great in terms of battery life also um, I, just, I don't have any kind of problems using it and uh, you do have to uh, you do have to install a separate uh, KitKat G apps uh, with this ROM so you can check out the XDA forums they have this ROM link and I'm, I will be putting the link in the description so and also very great ROM to check out so uh, and also we do get only one wallpaper with this ROM which is the which is the Mac Pay ROM a wallpaper and the other other wallpapers are just the KitKat ones as you can see these are the KitKat ones so um, and one more thing is that uh, we don't get the theme option with this ROM uh, even though it's based on the KitKat uh, CM11 it doesn't come with the theme option if I click here on more um, I don't get any kind of theme option that we get on different kind of ROMs so uh, it might be a, it might be a bad thing for some of you but I don't care because the best thing that I want here is the wallpaper on the back which should look decent for your device and should show decent colors and also with this ROM you do get two um, la two launchers one is the KitKat launcher and the other is the Jelly Bean launcher so you can quickly select whatever you want and also when, when you install like Nova launcher uh, and other kind of launchers in, in this ROM it will gonna pop up here and you can go to here and just quickly uh, select whatever launcher you want so 
definitely check out this ROM and also with this ROM you can you know you can have a lot of power if you want because uh, you can install other kernels with this ROM so in order to get more performance and I haven't tried out the gaming stuff but uh, I'm pretty sure it will work very great and uh, music music player everything is working great uh, no problems definitely check out this ROM so thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions in you know like installation and uh, other stuff you can just comment down below um, and also like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one peace